Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about what's the best way to learn data science. I found that the best way to learn something and to showcase your skills is by doing actual projects. I think we learn best by doing. So how do we choose a project to work on? Where do we start? And really, what, what do we even do here? So one way that we can approach this is we can start by looking at some career websites such as LinkedIn or Indeed or any other career builder um, website that you can think of and try to look for jobs. Just type in data scientist or data science and find a few that you aspire to have in the future. Now, write down the skills, qualifications, day-to-day -day expectations, and overall job description from the jobs that interest you. This will basically give you the project requirements that you can start with. This will be the knowledge that you need to build as you create your projects and as you work on your projects. So the role that I found and that I'll use in our example today is the analytics data scientist from Honeywell. The full description can be found on the link here. So uh, basically, I pulled out some of the specific job requirements that we can use to structure a project. But let me just quickly download that and show you what the project looks like. So let's enable editing and you can see. So here's the job description, basically, you know, finding stories in large amount of data talks about the specific responsibilities that we have providing different analysis, data visualization, machine learning, communicating the output, promoting the various data science methods across functions. And then we go into the qualifications that you must have. Master's degree, number of years of experience in different fields. And here's what they value. You need to be team oriented, ability to travel and so on. So now let's go back into, into what we were talking about here. Um, Basically, what I pulled out were a few bullet points that stood out for me, and I've seen this actually when I analyzed other job descriptions, is companies are looking for experience with modeling software, such as R or Python. Um, experience bringing prototypes to production on Hadoop. Experience with visual software, such as Tableau or ClickView. And on um, understanding data science trends and future state technologies, providing data modeling, mining, pattern analysis, visualization, machine learning, basically addressing customer needs through all of those uh, ways and communicating project output in terms of customer value, business objectives, and product opportunity. Additionally, I thought this one was interesting, attending industry conferences to stay current on industry trends, challenges, and potential market opportunities. So the last item, it won't really be used in the project, but it's something that you can do in your free time to learn about data science and expanding your professional network. So. Now what we need is a data set. Before we can start any analysis, we need to find a data set or data sets. Um, as you execute on your project, it's also important that you record it in a way that people can um, see your thought process. They can um, go back and see you know, how you executed and what steps you took. And it should basically start highlighting your data science skills. So what programming language did you use? Uh, include some screenshots. What did you do for data cleansing? How did you get to this data visualization? What was your thought process? Did you, you know, why did you choose a bar chart over a stacked bar chart? And so on. So the website, there are several websites you can use to find a data set, but the one I used was data.world. Let me just click on that to give you a little preview here. So you can create your own data sets, you can find open data, you can search for data. So I searched for customer. Um, and basically I downloaded something called the Global Superstore 2016 spreadsheet onto my desktop and you can get it by clicking this link here as well. Um, basically, we're going to focus on the first tab called orders. The data has 51,290 rows and 24 columns. The way they provide the description of the data is um, it's a data set that has over 50,000 values. It's customer centric data set. It has data of all orders that have been placed over uh, four or five years. So. We will use the following process flow to guide us in the project. Step one, we're going to understand the problem or ask interesting questions. Step two, we're going to gather data and prepare data. Step three, data analysis. And step four, data visualization and communication. So the first step talks about asking the right questions. 
Now, I created a post about this recently. It's the 20 questions asked prior to starting data analysis. Now, not all questions will be applicable to this project, but definitely take a read through that one. Um, and since this is a made up project, we need to create a scenario that can help us relate it to real life. So let's say we hired, we're hired as a consulting partner to help out a client, let's call them Global Superstar, and below are the problems that they're facing. This is what you gather from having conversations uh, with the teams. So in order to increase our sales, we want to hire more salespeople. In which location should we invest to build up our sales team? We want to show our top 10 customers our appreciation by sending them a gift card that has $500 in store credit. Which customer should we send it to? And the last one was, we want to decrease the number of products that we offer. Which products should we discontinue? Now, these are sample questions. I think the data set is fairly easy to start with. Uh, I think it's a good starting point if you're just starting in data science, and I think it's going to be interesting to see what we find. So. Now we need to think about who's our audience. In this case, let's pretend that we need to show this analysis to their senior management. So that means the data needs to be shown to them in the way that they prefer. So um, we go ahead and we ask our main point of contact, um, what, how, do, how does senior management prefer to see their data? And you know, do they want PowerPoint? Do they like Excel spreadsheets? So senior management, say, um, they say that they love having drill down capabilities and filtering on data. So given their preference, we're gonna go ahead and use Tableau as the medium for presentation because Tableau is really great at providing both drill down capabilities and filtering. Now, the second step is to gather data and prepare the data for analysis. We already have the data set, but one thing we can do is determine if we need anything else to move forward. And since all the data that was re um, basically requested by the client is in our source already, we don't need to gather additional data point at, at this point. So let's analyze if any cleansing or preparation needs to take place. We basically want to make sure that this is not messy data. So let's go ahead and open up the spreadsheet. So we have our 24, 24 columns here. Now let's scroll around. Let's see, everything looks good. We can see that sales our number, their currency, basically they're categorized properly. One thing that I do see is um, we have a bunch of blanks in their postal code column. And one way to address having nulls is what we can do is we can hit control A that will select the entire sheet, control F to find, and we could do a find and replace. So if we find and don't type anything in here, this basically means blank, we can replace it with not available, or we can replace it with a null, or we can call it a blank. And let's just go ahead and hit replace all. Done. Now you can see there are no, no more blanks here. And now we've populated that with not available. So now we can go ahead and save our sp spreadsheet. Um, and we can begin our analysis. So the objective here is using the data set provided along with our project requirements, keeping that in mind, start your analysis using some of the tools that are available to you. So you can use R or you can use Tableau Public. These are free to use. Um, and the goal here is to answer the client's questions with a Tableau presentation in the end. So I do think we should go with using Tableau Public um, because we'll have the filtering and drill down capabilities. So everyone, I, if you'd like, you can join me on this project and we can learn data science together. Just make sure that you record your thought process, record the steps you took, output you produced, snapshots of your work. Basically, you need to just show your work. And this will help you solidify what you're learning. And it's going to allow you to have something to put into your data science project portfolio. Like if you're applying for a job and they ask what, what data science experience you have, this could be something that you show. Um, so you can also post your results and in of the analysis and all your thought process in the comments below, or you can post it on our Facebook page, Story by Data. Thank you, and I hope to see some of your output soon.